Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Buckeyes of all ages, you are now tuning into the Boomcast. Introducing first, it's your host, NFL vet, Buckeye legend, Daniel Boom Heron. Accompanying him is the Boom Squad. First up, from the presidential penthouse, we got former coal miner, fitness industry expert, Mr. Corey Gregory. Over here at the Tyler Tyler Sports Zone, we have Athens' very own Tyler Treadway. Then we got Philo's very own Mr. Tyler T. Lover. And then of course, here's the doghouse. I'm the graphic gangster Cole Susak. To my right is the king of Web3, Trayvon the Air. And you are now tuning in to the Boomcast. The Boomcast is brought to you by Master Muscle and Sam Adams Beer. Let's go to the show. Welcome to another episode of the Boomcast. We got our illustrious co-host daniel boom, boom. Harris. yo 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 we got the boom squad over here look the buckeyes won 35 16 against the rutgers scarlet knights but wasn't it nine seven at halftime yeah not seven Rutgers. boom yes i know that there's some great stats in here with travion and you know what? Right, but but <clears throat> nine seven. I, I I went on Instagram. Hold on. I went on Instagram and one of the high state accounts had a picture and all it said was pathetic. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, yeah, that's how I good. feel right now. Yeah. I know we yeah. won 35-16, yeah. but nine seven at half? Yeah. Um, what? You know, I was thinking about this, man. Uh, please. Because uh Shed some light on us. I was uh, I was like, man. I know, you know, obviously everybody's going to be, like, bashing us, like, we should be doing this. We should have been beating them by 50, and, you know, McCord sucks, and, you know, he's not doing this, he's not doing that. But, uh, you know, I was thinking, I was like, but at the end of the day, nobody's never satisfied, but some way, somehow, we still win. Yeah, I know. (laughs) We are spoiled. Yeah, maybe that's part of it, but 970 at Rutgers. but, 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 I'm not done. Okay, okay. Yeah. It still shouldn't have been how it was. Like, we're like we got to play better. And like I how, how I always say, I think sometimes we play down to our competition. Yeah. 100%. Which is it's like first off, no 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 not to, you know, Rutgers and their quarterback situation, but their 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 quarterback sucked. He can't throw the ball. You know? Bro, and, did you see the offense they were running against oh, us? Their offense was god awful. <laughs> we know? couldn't stop it. No, no. Actually, actually, the defense played well. If you like, like obviously they gave up a little bit more points than they should have. But if you think about a lot of the situations that they were in, they were we were uh, yeah. they were backed up most of the time. You know, so tail of two so, halves. So, so overall, you know, the first half, I, I think the defense kind of saved us because if you think about it. Any other team that had a powerful offense, they probably would have put 27, oh. 35 points up in the first half mm-hmm. against us. You know, so yeah. I mean the defensive Am I happy well, of am I am I happy the way that the game was played through through the whole game? No, I wasn't. But you know, we have to give credit still, you know, going on the road, playing against a, a team where the coach was a part of our staff, you know what I'm saying? So he he knows a lot of the stuff that we probably do. For sure. Um, I'm not saying he's on no Michigan stuff with no signals and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, cough, cough. But, you know, he, the guy still, he, he yeah. he's familiar. And just going on the road and just being Ohio State, we always have a target on our back. And yeah. I told y'all yep. that we was, gonna, we, we was going to get, you know, Fake punts, fake whatever. They ran a freaking fumble ruski. Fumble ruski. Fumble fumble ruski. That was shout out. That was epic. All right, so for for my viewing experience for this game, so I'm in the back (laughs) of Treadway's truck with his dad. Shout out to his dad. We're going to the Florida State pit game, right? So shout out to Coach Storms. But this just made me think, one, um, you said it last week that – Teams like this, they will bring all the trick plays. You have to be ready for all this shit because this is their one opportunity to Ruin get, your catch season. a huge dub. Yeah. Which the fumble ruski, by the way, like awesome. can't knock that fumble ruski. Mm-hmm. It was a well executed, perfect time, yeah. perfectly executed fumble ruski. If you ask me, that shit was lucky because to to get the the first snap, cool. But him for him to snap it again and them get that off, yeah, yeah it's, that's, oh, it's nuts. Come on, bro, also, like, that's yeah. real Cause also, risky. Because also you had the linebackers jumping over. That's yeah. what like, I'm saying. All they had to do was hit it. And yeah, it's, it's yeah. gone. But they execute but it. But they execute But also, right on that same drive, they run this. Doesn't the Buckeyes hold them to a field goal? Mm-hmm. So again, that's just the defense yeah. coming in clutch. And that's right? why. And Seriously, that's coming my whole, in clutch. That's my whole point of saying, like the defense, 
it's like, okay, they gave up 16 points, but at the end of the day, they were they they were on the field a lot in the first half, you know? So, shout out to the defense. And but obviously, we got to be better. You know what I'm saying? We have to be better, uh, especially, you know, with the the game we got coming up. We, we don't want to overlook uh, Michigan State. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of heavy winded today. I'm sorry. That's all right. No, but, we uh, got a lot to talk about. <laughs> no, you're, <laughs> you're on it right now. But um, you know, we just have to continue to get better. the The good thing is we got the win. You yes. know, at the end of the day, you know, we could bash our team about you know not doing this, not doing that. They did enough to win the game. We didn't play a great team. We didn't play our 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 typical game how we usually. You know, I, and to be honest, have we played great all year? No, this is how every game's been. Yeah. Like, this is just how we win games now. Every yeah. game's going to be a close game. Why so, am I so surprised still then? Because you, <laughs> cause you just hate to see it. Because it's painful to watch. You're used it's to, painful. You're used to seeing a C.J. Stroud throw for, you know, 300-something yards, four touchdowns. Kind of how he's doing in the NFL right yeah. now. Shout out to he's C.J. Stroud. He's crushing it, yeah. Uh, Five he, tutties? Oh, yeah. He's, he, he's going crazy. He is going, going bonkers crazy. right now. But you're kind of just used to seeing – Honestly, you're kind of used to seeing the offense be the the lead, the lead, yeah. and our defense yes. struggling. So now that it's kind of you know flop flopped a little bit, flipped, you know, it's kind of new to you. So that's probably why you just so bothered. So bothered, but, here's, but <laughs> well, here's, dude, I'm thinking we don't feel like number one. Yeah, yo, but here, here's the thing with with all this going back to Florida State. So we're we're going this game. Shout out Coach Storms and uh, the strength coach for sending uh, me and. Trey down there, free tickets and stuff like that. But watching their game, they're in a close game with Pitt. So this Pitt is was just, two and six. This is just how yeah. college football is. Like yeah. go on the road. The first thing he told us after the game like that was like, "This is one of those games where you just you just want to get the fuck out of it. You got the dub, get the fuck out That's of it. That's what I'm. Now yeah. you're moving on. Yeah. So yeah, and they're number on. and they're number four. That's so. what I'm saying. So it's, it's happened to everyone. Like there, I, there really is no crazy dominant team in college. Absolutely, not. everyone's having games like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, it's it, it's still it's a little unsettling. I mean, of course, you, you you're you're supposed to feel that way. G. Yeah, I know. Like like if 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 we were just sitting around here and being all happy because we beat freaking Rutgers thirty five sixteen, it, it well, would show what type of team we are. Think about this, right? I think I'm spoiled also because when Braxton went down, we got JT. When JT went down, we got your boy Cardell. Like, yeah. and then then JT's back, and then Braxton. It is like we had three unbelievable guys stacked and on top of each other by the way behind all those with joe, joe burrow joe, yeah. was there. <laughs> so. when joe burrow is the fourth option it's like i think that's why so once again was this more of a recruiting thing for this position because it ain't it it just ain't stacked like that bro i don't know so it's kind I of mean, interesting the guy was a five star though. yeah but is Coming it because is it because of who his wide out was in high school it could be he, he, he still got him. I know, that's what I'm saying. And he's yeah. still making him look good. Yeah. Feel bad. Well, that. is he making him look good, though? That, I, mean, I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Trey Long. Yeah, I mean, I, just to you guys' point, like, I think Kyle McCord needs to just get the job done better, though, like, in the first half. Because, like you said, like, the defense was out there a lot of the time, like, a lot of time in the first half. Like, when you – like, this is fine now when we're playing a team like Rutgers. But, you know, when, once we get a few more weeks and, like, into the season stuff, like, playing the team up north, we're putting them to college football playoffs, that's not going to be an option. Like, yeah. we're going to have to – turn it up. We're going to have to turn it up. We're going to have to bring it out the first gate. You know what I mean? We're going to have to yeah. score those touchdowns because this works now, but it's probably not going to continue to work. Barely works now. Yeah. I think uh, we're gonna see if Michigan is for real against Penn State, though. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited see, about here's that. Here's the game. thing, like, like you said, like if we were sending here all happy and things like stuff like that, that's how teams get got. Like oh, that's absolutely. how teams they True. think they're all shit, yeah. and yeah. really the only team that's in that position where they feel like that is the team up north. So yeah. I'm hoping, but they're not because they don't play nobody. Ex exactly, like Dude, they're, they're, they're living in a false reality up there. Literally <laughs> false reality. <laughs> this whole a lot of ways. this whole scandal has got me thinking. Like, you know what? Has this team ever been legit? Have no. they just knew all the answers to the test the entire yes. time? Yes. And what's crazy about the whole situation? <laughs> what's crazy about the whole situation? I'm to the point where it's like, you know, forget the whole scandal thing. Just let us play the game. Mm -hmm. But it's to the point now. It's like now their fans. And they're, you know, in, anybody that represents them, now it's kind of like, oh, well, we got this on them, or they did this, or, like, bro, like, if y'all did something wrong, 
Just take it, stand on that shit, and you know what I'm saying. Take the consequences. You know what I'm saying. Don't don't be over here trying to blame other people, and then then they trying to say Ryan's they brother had this or did that. <laughs> hey, bro, dude, shut dude, up. Dude, yeah. dude, they said they were gonna That's put Ryan sick. Day on a RICO charge. Yeah, like bro, shut, shut up, up, bro. Yes, yes, fuck up. Up. yes, they're, yes. They're going like that. They just be on some corny shit, bro. Like Ryan Day on a RICO charge. Yeah, th- there was some whole, dude. I'm telling you, talking the, about the, his, his, the Michigan his, Ohio State Twitter right now. Is I can't even handle his brother work for some. Uh, Law firm and yeah, they, they, they come up with every excuse for it instead of just taking blame for it. If you did something wrong, and which is if if they did do something wrong, I don't know all the you know because I ain't really been paying attention to none of that shit because I'm I'm tired of hearing about it. To be honest with you, I just really just want to play the game. Now, if we lose the game, I'm blind. Well, y'all need to be looking at it. <laughs> 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 but not the cheat sheet. But but I, honestly, I'm I'm kind of tired of it. But as somebody that kind of went through a an a uh, investigation, I kind of kind of know what the NCAA is going to do. They're not going to do nothing this year. Anything that happens, it's going to be next year. Because you got to understand the business side of college football. They're not yeah. yep. This is money. Lots they, of money. They're not about to play with their money. Yeah. You know, what I'm if, if 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 now if Michigan was a team that was losing and they didn't have a chance to go, you know, to the playoffs or or to the national championship, yeah, they might be coming down. But the simple fact that okay, we actually need this team. We know that they have a great fan base. We know that they could bring money to they travel the situation. They travel. And, Boom and, speaking facts out here in Michigan yeah. as a like the their president writing the emails to the Big Ten. Uh, I saw where they got like state representatives from Michigan, like congressmen or some shit, met, emailing the like writing letters to the Big Ten. Right. That just goes to show they <laughs> they know it's coming. They have to push it off because they don't want this year to go to waste. Bro, it's big. It, it won't business. That's what yeah. a lot of like the fans might under they 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 think it's just you know some some back and forth. This th- we playing with money now. Big we money. playing with big, big money now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you playing with the Big Ten. You like. For them to give this man a contract and then whatever they saying, take it away. I don't know if that if that really happened or if it did happen. I don't know if they really offer him a contract, or whatever or not. But everything is just causing a lot of not understanding. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, let's give a distraction, but we still gonna kind of like, you yeah. know, it. it nothing's gonna happen, bro, until next year. I'm telling you. No. Yep. Too much money, and but it also creates even more hype around the game, exactly. which makes even more money. Exactly. And so, and I mean, here's the other thing: is the potential that whoever loses, which is going to be them, and then that we end up potentially maybe playing them again. Can you imagine a double D game, and one of them has a title on it? Could be, Epic. and with a fucking, and on top of it, the last uh, Michigan quarterback that was in the running for the Heisman Trophy was Jim Harbaugh, by the way. Like, and they're Great. saying this dude's like in the running, or they think he is. It, there's so many storylines that people, the, the media wants to have all that. Yeah. You know storylines I mean? gonna be real good when we beat them twice, Man, the, twice think, that way, and they come out as cheaters. Yes, yeah. think, <laughs> think about exactly, it. Trayvon, which is what we need to happen. Yeah. I, I kind of want that to happen. Yeah. And, and and this is gonna be a, a hell of a neck a Netflix documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say that twice. That, Boom. Everything <laughs> that's going on. <laughs> Yeah, agreed. I'm still waiting on the Netflix documentary about the the 2014 team with three yeah. ch- with three quarterbacks. I'm still waiting on that one. But also, th- you got all this going on. But I think the college football playoff in itself, like the that that last week where they have to choose the top four, is going to be a hell of a situation for those guys, dude. Just with all the other teams, particularly going on. because of the one loss teams, right? Yeah, the strength of schedule and everything. Like Texas already has the the head to head over Alabama, and their strength of record, both of them are like. Four and five, it's real close. I could, man, I could, I could really see uh, Bama going on a run, oh, yeah. and sneaking in at that probably four spot. I don't know why. I, I, I just I they guess. got two losses or one, one only yeah, to Texas. One. You know what I'm saying? Texas but then run. I could see Texas being a team that, um, because Ewers is back and he's he's out, right? He's out, yeah. He's out. So I could see them like losing another game like down the road and. You know, I wonder if that hurt back. us because maybe he's the one that's really supposed to be in there right now. Oh, he's definitely supposed to be the one that's in there right now. So that's maybe that's the, maybe that's dipped. the void I'm feeling in our talent pool. Right. It's really we had we had that guy locked at a million dollar nil and he dipped immediately. You yeah, had him. Yeah. Then him you had the, you had the other kid um, locked in, but then he decommitted. Then committed to Georgia. 
Got and it. Okay. There was another wideout that is actually playing for Alabama right now too. Like he, I think he's starting for Alabama. I, I can't remember the name, but it had that happen. Mm. I mean, a couple possibilities. Dude, I got it. I don't know. All I know is that Kyle McCord is not. I I would be very doubtful if he Here. is the quarterback next year and doesn't lose. His I spot. think it's like virtually impossible. Like but maybe just, maybe not. I don't know. But what happened? Well, but look at it. <laughs> they go win a chip. Is it? Man. If he, if dude, if he, no one's gonna say this. Hold on, hold on. If he leads, Ohio <laughs> State, <laughs> Cole's face. No way. If he leads Ohio State and win a national championship with him as the starting quarterback, he gonna be starting next year. I don't think you one. have he, to worry about that. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> of course, not gonna win a national championship. He is awful. <laughs> All right, Trey Wade. All right, now, listen, now <laughs> this Trey man Wade. is not no, winning no, a no, national no. championship. Hey, hey, no, 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 let no, him speak. No, no. Let no, him speak. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Hey, this is what this is what Andon sounds like. This is what my son sounds like. Let him say. Let him speak. I got a point. Now, guys, let me say one thing. Hold on, because you know what he's gonna say. Let me say one thing. He's saying for the last two weeks of playoff rankings, who's your number one team in the playoff ranking right now? Tell him. Oh, you. I know who it is. No, Florida. State. Florida State. Yeah, now let nope. me say one thing. One thing. Jordan Travis, <laughs> he's their legit. quarterback. He's All right. you heard him just say nah, that. He's, he's legit. legit. Jordan Travis. His QBR rating, number eight. You know who's tied with him? Same exact QBR rating right now. And who's number one? Doesn't hey, matter. I'm just saying, QBR hey, rating doesn't win hey, you games. Hey, we well, just saw Jordan they, Travis undefeated. play against Pitt. Wasn't that impressive? But he was missing well, here, his now, here's best. Now here's what I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say. Ohio State can absolutely win a national championship. But you want to know who's gonna win them a national championship? It's gonna be Trayvon Henderson. Yes. The Chip defense. Trainer. Run the, the fucking ball. Uh, Car- Carnell Tate and Buka. Marvin Harrison. At who's some win point, it. it's gonna be the defense. It's gonna be Eichenberg. Yeah. It's gonna be everyone down the he list. Did really he did versus Notre Dame though. He did versus Notre Dame. He drove down. Put that pressure on the motherfucker. So so he did versus on the road, bro. He did. So he did. He did. So maybe and I'm not one, even. I don't even like Kyle McCord. One time, and I'm sticking up for him right now. Let's he did step up during that game when he had to. Right. One time. Hey, the guy. Isn't that what takes, old though. dudes say on the golf course when they hit yeah, the ball? Yeah, one time. One hey. time. But he only had one time, and he already <laughs> used it. What? I just no, no, I, no, like. No, 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 no. Hey, a, the guy a, hasn't lost a game yet. True. So yeah. how 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 can we sit here and knock the dude as bad as we do? You play with TP, bro. Hold on, let's let's, <laughs> yeah, you let's, let's Hey, let's be honest. There's there were a couple games we complained about CJ Stroud. Oh yeah, I there was a lot. There I was a lot. A lot of times. There was yeah. a lot of games. We was like, oh, he's. We need to. We are. <laughs> look at us now. Yeah, this motherfucker about to win. I still think if we could have the I still think if we get the Georgia play of CB, that oh if he plays like gosh. that, we beat Michigan though. So Dude. I still, th- I still wanted more from CJ Stroud, but his strategy was is what he's doing right now. Yeah, just what it is. I just want to see <laughs> like a, a a game. So like Rutgers is not so all right. To, to the Cole's point about the trip. So we're driving to Pittsburgh, and I'm listening to the game on the radio. It was a nice little throwback, you know, listening to the game on the radio. <laughs> yeah. um, and it, it was going all bad. And then we show up to this bar, and it's in the middle of Pittsburgh downtown, but it's full of Pitt, uh, of uh, Florida, State State, it's full oh, Florida, Florida State. It's full of Florida State fans. Yeah. But then there's this one section – and it has this Ohio State flag and all yeah. these Ohio State fans, and they keep doing the OH chant. It was, it was the Ohio State alumni of Pittsburgh. Amazing. This, this oh, was there. Okay. So, so that's that's, just that's cool. There. So shout out to them for, for doing it. But it's all Florida State fans, and we're Buckeyes sitting there. Buckeyes are everywhere. Buckeyes are everywhere. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, so we're watching the game, and I'm like, it, it's at halftime, and Ohio State's losing. And I was like, perfect. Now is when I'm going to bet Ohio State to win this game because you know Ohio State's going to come out in the Absolutely. second half yeah. and just and just win the game. And they were still minus three forty, so that tells you yeah. that everyone knows they're a second half team. What I'm afraid of is if somebody jumps on them too much at the beginning, mm-hmm. it might be a little Can too late. Back? Like if McC- like whatever McCord's undefeated, uh, but agreed. like if you're down twenty eight to three at half, whoa, like, whoa, 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 that's a lot. That's, bro. That, that's that's a lot. Defense our defense, our, you, our defense has. A, they haven't uh, gave up 28 points yet. Okay, but year. if Never. you face Washington in the playoffs and you got to go up against no. that, well, first off, no. first off, first no. off, first off, they have um, some good sports talk radio. They they they, they have a power. <laughs> they have a powerful just offense. Saying. They do, but their defense is trash. And so is yeah. Kyle McCord. They, they they give up they give up hella points. They do. They bleed points, but like and our points. defense doesn't. So our defense. That's legit. when you know what I'm saying. And our defense, our defense comes defense. to plays. Like, dude, that that pick six in the second half was the game tying, like game breaking. But if you're on the that's field the entire game, you're gonna get worn down. But also, I'm going. I'm going to go to say that I think a lot of it 
it is also play call and the strategy. Dude, Ryan Day is going to, like, let it all open if they're down by two touchdowns. Yeah. Like, they're going to do some creative shit. I, I think <laughs> a lot of it is feed the ball, run out the clock, get the win. We, yeah. we get out of here by ten points. Hey, it's a W on the next one. They week. covered the spread this week. They did, so. Just saying. I mean. Yeah. Feels very trestle ball. But, but, it does, but right? you know what? So, this is optimistic, Cole, right here. <laughs> this is optimistic, Cole, going on to Michigan State. One, Michigan State is a they absolute suck. train wreck, right? They they yeah, got hey, they, they, they are. <laughs> but again, <laughs> why are we having but, it no, a listen, night no, game? No, too? no, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Before before night game. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. We got Horseshoe, seven thirty game. They got these beautiful I mean, mm. beautiful. Uh, gray. Smoking gray. Oh, uh, gray those uniforms. are sick. Maybe the those best alternate uniforms in college yeah. football. So, mm. me being a uniform guy, this is a uniform bet. Automatically beat the chest. Mm. Buckeyes <laughs> winning by 50. I mean, this is, I mean, They're 32 point favorites. Dude, really? how, could 31 not, half. how could you not wear these beautiful jerseys? Yeah. You got what? 100 and how, how many? 104, 105 they fit in there? Mm. Let's go. Yeah, trying to get your it's, trying it's to get your drink on, boom or what? Oh, we're gonna do it tailgate, oh, get yeah. a stick. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. This is the game where they come out. Hey, all you motherfuckers, shut up. Listen, we just beat them by 50. And you know what? <sighs> that would be great for our we, confidence. We definitely need um, like Marvin got to go up. three tutties, bro. Like it's got to be. Yes. It ain't really just got to be him because he been he he's been doing that yeah. consistently. We need somebody else. Like if 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 we can get a huge game from a uh, two. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, even though I know he's been dealing with some injuries, whatever or not, but to see him have a big game, a big, night yeah. game, you know what I'm saying? And then you know Marv going to do his thing. So it's kind of like everybody coming back and they getting healthy. And you know what I'm saying? Yes. Now the whole, you know, we stepping. You know? I, know, I know he's been getting like 120 yards, 130. Like you want to see – Well, so see think about – 75, full touchdown. Think about if, <laughs> the quarterback, if he had uh, any of the three guys that we talked about that was on that one squad. He would be going oh. – he would be minimum probably 152. Like his – he would be leading the Heisman. Like it'd be a hands down, like give it to Marv. And I just – and it might – Well, it, there's only been three – Three or four wideouts in the history of the game that have won it, and it's like, it, but he should be a clear. It, you you want to know? You want to know what I think would make everyone happy? Just give us some big plays. Like, yeah, I agree. Yeah, was, like, plays. Like, if, if this, if you want to see a couple plays over yeah, fifty yards. If this, you know? like, you know, take this score right here. But imagine if every touchdown was instead of driving down the ball and we get a three-yard run. It's just <laughs> the most painful drive you've ever watched. If it was just a nice fifty-yard touchdown, maybe right in the beginning. Yeah. So the rest just, of the game, you're like, man, yep, there it is. Just That's all we needed. Zeke, 85 yards. Was a huge, was a huge. Of the yeah. sound, hey. that type of That's shit. That's all we need. I mean, if you nice ask. Fans. Boom, 100 yards against if, Michigan. If you Boom, ask me, um, obviously, uh, I want to see Marv do his thing. But I I, I want to see uh, Travion continue yeah. what he's got going on. Because he's mm-hmm. put up some um, some great numbers these last couple of games. And for him to be healthy, you know, I had put a status up on Facebook the other day um, that I would take. Um, Travion Henderson, a, a healthy Travion Henderson over Corum any day, every day, all day. And that, that status gets some likes or what? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, or obviously, you had a couple. You had you a couple. Just tweet that, Bill. Yeah, you had a couple Michigan people who, um, you know, what I'm saying they they gonna stick up for their guy, but uh, you know, he's he's uh, <clears throat> the guy is he's he's a good he's a good player. I feel like he feel feels like he fits like the level of running backs that had been down the line. You know what I'm saying? But but he's to me he's yeah. he's 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 Mike Hart 2.0. Oh yeah. Mike I don't. Was a good back. He was, but did he didn't do very well at the next level? Yeah, agreed. So um, would he be a good college? Yeah, yeah. But do I see him being like a? First, second round guy, like how how they saying he will be. I don't I don't see. But that. I'm saying I think Travion starts to fit the mold of you being like I feel. Oh, like okay. He, I oh, feel like what I was saying. Travion. I was saying like I feel like he now is starting to look like. Oh yeah, What yeah, we yeah. expect That's, from backs. Yeah, yeah. In so, the and, line and, of like quality backs that you're in. And how Tress used to always say, you know, um, in November and October, you got to be able to run the ball, you know, and. That's why I love what he's he's doing right now, and he they got to keep that up because yes. at the end of the day, you know, if the running game is going well, 
that passing game gonna open up, yeah. and 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 that's gonna help uh, McCord as well. So, mm-hmm. if he can can continue to have a if he can have a big game, you know, this weekend, which is I think he will, um, I think it's gonna help McCord as well, and it's definitely gonna open up the passing game. But another thing I, I want to see is I want to see the tight end get a little busy too. Yeah, you I know, agree with that need some more hot routes. Yeah. Well, Kate yeah. Silver was hurt, right? He didn't play mm-hmm. last game. Yeah, was he, he here was, last week? He he was dealing with something, but yeah, he did, he didn't play at all. Yeah, he not was just on the sidelines, but that which surprised me. And that's another thing about Ohio State, they <laughs> these guys be coming up with some weird injuries, <laughs> like weird things be happening. Like what the heck happened to Maya Williams? You know, like yeah. like out of nowhere, it's like okay, did this happen in practice? Like yeah, is he really they, hurt? They, yeah, they're keeping a hush hush. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, uh, we gotta take a quick commercial okay. break. Hey, hold, hold that thought, Cole. We'll be right okay. back. No. And we're back. Cole. Yeah, uh, one other ass, like facet of the game. That acid? The Buc- <laughs> at, facet. Right? There you go. That's right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that they need to figure it out. <laughs> like, they need to really spend some time to figure it out is special teams. I mean, what the hell has been going on with special yeah. teams? What's up with the, this whole fake punt situation that I guess that wasn't was bad? But I guess it wasn't called. It wasn't supposed to happen. But still, Dude, Ryan how Day you, looked like he's like, about to catch a Rico charge. He's about to catch a manslaughter charge. <laughs> yeah. He saw that, bro. Yeah, like, and that was that was right after they ran the fumble Ruski, correct? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, what I I thought they said is that he read. It was like something where he read something, and when it's like that, you just he just. Audible's that call, but he's on like what the twenty yard look, line. Look, oh right? Gosh. What is that? He had his mind made up before that ball was even snapped. That he was running. But he, he was did, running. Wasn't even close. I know it wasn't close. <laughs> yeah, was like, he just he just thought he was gonna be the guy that changed changed the game at the point. <laughs> what, <laughs> better what, think again. <laughs> that confidence. Just, I mean, I don't know. Ryan where's Day that must, coming from? Ryan Day must have had the guys hyped in the locker room. Like, hey, if you got a chance to make a play, make a play. And he just felt like he could make the play. I guess. <laughs> 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 what happens I guess. to dudes after that? Like, if somebody does that and they're like, they Dude. take it upon themselves and it wasn't like, Bro, giving a thumbs up, what 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 do they say to them after that? That What's shit that was clueless with? as a motherfucker. Bro, Let me tell you. When it happened, I'm like, what in the hell is going on? Like, he, he was just as surprised as Ryan Day was. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. He was just trying to. Like, he wasn't even in full no sprint. Like, <laughs> like, what is this dude waiting on? Yeah, like, <laughs> all right, all right. He going to fake run and he going to actually kick it. Because I done seen him do that before, too. Yeah. But, nah, he he. That was bad. Yeah, it was bad. And it was like inside of the 30, wasn't it? It, wasn't it was like good, called like dude. the 22 yeah, or something. That's what, and, but then, again, again, it goes back to what I was talking about defense. I don't yeah. think – they ain't let him score no, no. touchdown, though. No. Um, <laughs> just I forgot about how bad that my play My final was. thoughts, guys, is, hey, you know what? We're 9-0. Yeah. True. We don't sound – hey, we don't sound like we're 9 <laughs> no, We never do. <laughs> hey, I told you, it's, <laughs> no. never, it's never good enough at Ohio State. So, you know what? I was thinking about that, Boom, because I did used to feel that way, though. But why do I not? You know what I mean? Like you feel I, away. I used to feel that way when I was watching you guys or when I was watching Braxton. Like I never used to come away thinking this way. I don't know. I just feel like th- there's something here. You got Travion running these kind of numbers. You got guys like Marvin Harrison and Mbuka, and and Kyle McCord numbers are like okay. I just feel like there's such a gap in talent, or maybe the expectation of talent at the quarterback level right now is that's why I feel that way. And we haven't had that in a long time, dude. Like, literally Craig Krenzel. You you know what I really think would make me be like, you know what, I really love this. Like, they need some, like, swagger. Like, the the 2017 (laughs) Eagles, whenever they were coming out, the Meek Mill jam, and you're like, holy shit, they got it. Um, Even with, like, the the 2014 National Championship team, they just had a different sauce. They did. So I think these guys need to come out, and they need to come out with speakers on their shoulders. They need to do something. Oh, you want them to come out like the 49ers. Yeah, they need to do <laughs> – or, like, come out to, like, an ACDC. Come out to something nuts and really say, like, this is our team. And, like, this is our good opportunity this for is this our aura game. to come to where, you know what, we might not score 50, but holy shit, we're going to break these noses, these guys' nose, and it's going to be 35. Or, look, Chase Young ends up getting moved to the Niners. You got Bosa, you got Nick Bosa and Chase Young on the, in the edges now, which is two of our former guys. And they both got sauce, bro, and just the pop. And you're like, w- that, that's what I'm missing, man. I'm missing that, game. bro. I'm missing, like, mm. both JT and these guys, like, they got – the athletes are there. So is it – but the scheme is working in right. the scheme of things. So it's like, 
But yet you're mi- we're missing yeah, that. We need we're to missing come out in like juice. some like Pantera Cowboys to hell. Just Something like yeah. <laughs> you come out with like eye black. Like Marvin Harrison's doing like the little giants where they put like the shit in their mouth. He's like oozing. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, like that's what we <laughs> need. <laughs> yes. stuff, you're such a football guy, Cole. <laughs> Have you ever watched <laughs> that movie? No. Oh, you never oh, seen oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh man. man. They put these uh, the tabs in their yeah. mouth. It's like you've never seen Little Giants? You are lying, bro. There's no way. Oh man. There's no Ask way. These guys when You're they... going home tonight and you watch <laughs> that. You make your I got kid. homework from Boo. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, I watch or, Remember the Titans. Or or I need some like I need some your like kids to, have your kids seen it? I don't think so, bro. Oh, y'all yeah. got a y'all got a family movie night tonight. <laughs> Get the or, popcorn get ready. Popcorn. Or I I need some so like good. varsity blues type shit where maybe it's like, you know, McCord, Travion, they're wearing like cutoffs and shit with Big barbed wire baseball bats going down high street, <laughs> smashing <laughs> shit. Like we, I need something. They're gonna like go to that. jail. Like, oh. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like I need some of that. They need some uh, Cole Susat choreographing. Yeah, That's they, what they, they need, need to basically come do some crazy shit and say, "Yep, this is us. Mm. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't flashy. We ain't fancy. Like we are some tough motherfuckers, and that's how we play ball." Mm. There, I'm calling it. The, it's gonna be the. We're gonna win the title. We're going to beat Michigan twice. It's all that's going to happen. And then we're Let's still going to be like, man, we trash these cats all year long. And look what happened. It's all right. But it's that, it's that, but that all could, all but, could also but happen. I, I think it's probably why we're good, you know, because we never let up on our team. We always let them know, you know, if, if, if y'all bullshitting or if y'all playing bad, like y'all going to hear it from the fans. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I think it keeps, it keeps them on, you know, keeps them on edge to, to, Go out there and play yeah. well. Hanging 50 on Michigan State would be good for the confidence, though. So. Especially so. at a night game. Uh, you know, it's our first night game, a weird night game, but first night game of the year. Like, that would be. And, and if Buckeyes don't do that, like, 50 to nothing, you know that Michigan's going to start giving them shit once again because they just beat them. Well, they got their own shit to nothing, take care right? of. The... Oh, they beat them 49 to nothing. Well, they were cheating the whole time, Tyler. Uh, true, I mean, true. On, dude. But I'm just saying, it'd be <laughs> great for Buckeyes to be like, look, we ain't, we ain't had none of that, and we just we just uh, did yeah. it. You know what I mean? They got their own shit to worry about this weekend, which yeah. is, I hope, uh, as bad as I want them to lose, I don't want them to lose because yeah, I want them to be undefeated when they come see us. But I do hope that it's uh, like a close game and they win by like a, you know, a field goal with like five seconds left on the clock. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Just because you know, the key or yeah, us both being undefeated brings it's just got more pop yeah. to it. For or sure. it's like it's like either they win or they get like blown out like fit like bad bad. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then it's like, well, what'll happen is though if they they give Penn State an ass whooping, we ain't go here to end of it because it's going. It don't matter what they. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> this is how I always look at this situation. It don't matter how they're playing. It don't matter how we're playing. It matters who shows up on the day of the game. Yep. Because if you think about think about uh, two years ago, the first time we lost, uh, when we went there, there's no way in hell that you're going to tell me that we're going to go there and lose that game when we have all the guys that we have. Yep. No. There's no way. You know what I'm saying? So we played well all, all through the year until that point, and then we go out there and lose the game. So – you know, they're they're rolling high, whatever, whatnot. They haven't really played nobody, you know what I'm saying? And people could say the same for any other team, you know. But it's all about what you do on that right. game. Yeah. You know what I'm mean, saying? Because they're having year. they're having a great they're having a great um we're having a great season, they're having a great season. Whoever loses that game, your season Change. goes goes to shit after that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Thank like thankfully we we were able to get in the playoffs last year. And we made a little run, whatever, whatnot. But we still lost. But, but but even to your point, though, who shows up on that day, the Buckeyes sneak in the playoffs. We're one field goal away from winning the national championship. Exactly. Oh my you know gosh. what I mean? Yeah. Easy. It's still it's still just because like we that. played actually up to our competition in exactly. that game. Exactly. Yep. Which was awesome to see. But <laughs> you, you want to know what other team really has got some figuring out to do? But they kind of figured it out. Uh, the Bobcats of Athens, Treadway. What's your thoughts on the Max? So Great far? segue. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a really good segue. He wasn't even ready. <laughs> he wasn't ready. He thought we yeah. about to say, "Up, oh, what well, is it for the boom yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh Well, we won this week. Uh, so back on track. The Bobcats went to Buffalo, which is a tough place to pe- play uh, this mm-hmm. time of year. It's oh, always cold. It? Mm. Yeah, uh, never been there, but I can. Boom was there for a little while. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so we won, covered the spread, shout out. Um, looked good. The first half was pretty awful. Uh, Curtis Work was four of seven for 31 yards. Ouch. Like, we only ran 14 offensive plays in the first half, but to score 20 points in the second half and come out with a dub is good. Uh, unfortunate because Miami won last night. They beat uh, Akron, who's god awful. And uh, <laughs> wasn't the score like nineteen nothing though? Yeah. Like what's up with that? It, <laughs> awful. Like that's just an awful football game. Um, so they're gonna make the MAC championship and play Toledo. Why doesn't the Bobcats and Miami play at the last game of the year? Or is it just good a yeah? Is it a Halloween? That is a good thing? question. Just because OU Halloween, that's a big deal. Or what? No, no it, it it's not a Halloween thing. They always they're like towards the back half of the schedule, but they gotta figure uh, that out. Honestly, Miami was so bad for so long, it didn't matter. Mm. And before that, like, OU was really bad. So, it never really, like, it's it's more of a recent thing that, like, Got it. this is, like, Miami's not really, like, our rival in any other sport. Like, basketball, Akron's our rival. So, mm. like, Miami just got lucky, basically. Interesting. Otherwise, they're just irrelevant. You're um, still real <laughs> bullish about coming to beat the Buckeyes in 2025? Yeah, I feel good. Like, like, oh, like, see, that confidence is not as high. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, the voice yeah, even feel, cracked. I feel, yeah, I feel, <laughs> yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel <laughs> good. Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Before he was standing on the table. Yeah. Hey, because sorry, sorry to break it to you, but Kyle McCord will definitely not be the quarterback then. It's going to be Aaron Nolan. He's yeah, going to be throwing true. all the It's going to be Aaron Nolan Dime. for sure. So. Yeah. Is there a shot that he could win the title and then still get replaced? I mean, I mean I yeah, know. you've seen that. Ship. Yeah. You've seen that before, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, I mean, I think it happened at Ohio State with. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Best man got to play, right? Yeah, I'm not saying he wasn't. It's just yeah, you know, yeah. at the time, uh, dude. But you know what? Switch. I would love to see Kyle McCord get a national championship and vocally come out and tell everyone shut the hell up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it would be I'd respect like, that. I would love that. Oh yeah. Oh, put okay. some respect on my name. Yeah. <laughs> see, thing is. Uh, if he does that, um, he won't have to go to the NFL. He'll he'll have a job in Columbus <laughs> yeah, for, the, for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know? So either do that or <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, he could get that NIL money too, if he could go sling a, a natty. I did text Coach Storm and say, I think it'd be pretty sweet if we played them for the natty though. It'd be I fucking. It'd be, it'd be cool. Awesome. It'd well, be like a throwback a, game. It'd be the sick. Right now, it'd be Ohio State, Florida State. Yeah, that would be. Round. That'd be Which sick. Game? All first round. No, uh, the semifinal. The semi. Yeah, okay. Well, it, it won't end that way because. Yeah, it's not good. Like Michigan will. I'm what, assuming what Michigan's going to lose. Yeah, okay. I, I like that yeah, assumption. Yeah, watch. Yeah, watch your tone over there. Watch your tone over there. I would assume. I mean, they might. They might lose this weekend, but I think Ohio. I, have be, the, I feel like they might lose this dude, weekend too. There's a possibility that every single one of the teams, I would say, in the top six, <laughs> are, lose not, this even, week. are yeah. not even close to hey, what we're going to see. I got a end. question. Yeah. Um. So you know how uh, people from up north they call us Ohio. Do people from Ohio take? Uh, do they feel that? Yeah, it's it's fucking annoying. It's I a hate thing, it so right? much. Yeah, it's so it's so annoying. That's why we because, put the V. Yeah, it's it's. It's like they call us Ohio, and it's like – so we played them in basketball, like, most recently and beat the shit out of them in the NCAA tournament. So uh -huh. it's like, you know, we kind of got our, like, chirp back there. Like, <laughs> they, they made all, like, the T-shirts that said, like, you know, call us Ohio University, like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. So, yeah, that that's super annoying. Yeah, was that's curious. like a chip, like, on every OU person yeah. that cares about sports probably. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I was curious. Yeah, because when I hear, it, I'm be like, "Oh, so y'all playing Ohio this weekend?" Like, yeah. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, corny. All right. So, what's your what's your what's your call on the Michigan Penn State game? What's your what's your what's your prediction? Um, I, to be honest with you, I just, Penn State it, at this point they just Penn State. Yeah, they do what they do. They gonna get popped. I, I think it's my <laughs> my honest opinion. Oh, you think they're gonna get ran over? I I think they're gonna lose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I think we the little the little height the little confidence that they had they lost it in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. True. And after that, it's like, oh well, we ain't beat the Buckeyes, so you know. I think it's gonna be like a like a 30-14 or something like that. Like, I think that it'll be kind of like almost like a score we just went through with Rutgers probably mm -hmm. end up. What do you think, Cole? I think Michigan comes out, two touchdowns, gets up, gets ahead early. But I think 
honestly, this game I think would be different if it was a night game. Yeah, why yeah. is this a noon game? Dude, because Fox dude. sucks. They just suck. This they should be a whiteout th- Penn State Unless game. you're going to sign be, us. Th- you guys this should, suck. This should yeah. be a whiteout game. I think that would change <laughs> it. But you know what? So – I hate so this. These are top three coaches. I hate. I fucking hate Dabo Sweeney. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a Dabo Sweeney yeah. fan. Either. James Franklin was the number two coach that I hate. <laughs> Do you like him now? <laughs> Har- no. Okay. Harbaugh. Harbaugh was my the top number one coach. I hate. But holy shit! After the Penn State Ohio State game where. We had the under <laughs> and or, no, 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 or, or we no we this had the bullshit. over we had the over and all James Franklin had to do was kick the fucking field goal to get it and he goes for, and two, goes for two and it's not even close that is officially I hate James Franklin <laughs> so much that he's officially stupid. the most my most hated college yeah. football coach that shows so, like ten thousand odds yeah oh. <laughs> I mean it was an unreal it was an yeah. unreal parlay it was like twenty five dollars like and two we extra needed the shit. over which which I thought the parlay was dead for the longest time yeah. and then. Towards the end of the game, I'm rooting for Penn State. I'm like, holy shit, Penn State, let's score. Let's get that <laughs> over. I'm yelling, yeah, yeah. we are, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and, then they, and then they can kick the field goal. And James Franklin's Give like, nope, money. we're going to two. We we're not going to get it. No way losers. we're going to come back. And he's not even fucking close. So fuck James Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I, hope, I hope Michigan hangs 30 on him. <laughs> you owe this man some money, James. We <laughs> are losers. Can we get that on Twitter yeah. fast as possible? Yeah. I fucking love that. Yeah, get him out. Get him out. Michigan by 30. All right. Yeah. What, what, what are you thinking, Trey, on this Yeah, score? I think Michigan's, like, easily covering the spread, which is uh, minus four and a half. All right. Tyler? Yeah, I think Michigan's going to – it's going to end up being, like, 31 to 14, 31, 17, Michigan. And – go ahead. <laughs> Trey, what do you think? Uh, so, so my favorite thing the whole week uh, <laughs> is this whole Blake Corum thing. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that. Probably you oh, said he, you've been off off he, Twitter. He owns a uh, a business with the guy. He owns a Stallions. business with Connor Stallions, yeah, yeah, yeah. based okay. in Wyoming. Okay. It's this. It's it's like B two C LLC or whatever. Who's Connor Stallions? All the Connor Stallions, the dude. dude. Yeah. Okay, so this, so this so high, he posts, bro, he but posts but a gee, picture. This how janky they is though. <laughs> he posts, okay. he posts, like, Blake Corum posted a picture. It was a few years ago on Instagram oh with a Lamborghini with this B two C LLC on there, and the caption read something like, "I'm a businessman. Call me an LLC or something like that." And then it came out that he owns a business called B two C LLC based in Wyoming with Connor Stallions, and he's like, so they brought- "My my attorneys will take care of it. I don't even know what that is, whatever." And he has this picture with the the logo on the Lambo that he's posing next. Yeah, to. how long ago? At least two years. It was ago. at least two years ago. How many years has Michigan done one now? Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty bad. <laughs> so, so I say all Stupid. that to say at some point this shit's going to catch up to Michigan. So, so, and I think it's going to be in so, Happy Valley so, this so Saturday. Do you think, I think Penn State's going to do a good job. Do you think some. they were money laundering, kind of like some Ozark shit? Where There's some shit going on. All the all the money that Connor Stallions was, was probably getting, maybe they were paying him a huge chunk of change. I, I they definitely were. But dude. what, what if he on. was getting paid a million to go out and recruit and they're funneling it through Blake Quorum's fake, L, like basically fake LLC? Hey, bro. And you know why they put it in it. Wyoming, too? Less tax exposure. Oh, they yeah. thought they There's had it all definitely some out. shady shit. They thought they, they thought hey, they had it all when you figured hear out. all this shit and you're thinking, man, I was just getting some tattoos, bro. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? You Dude, know what I'm saying? Like, like, there's like some fucking the, the, outrageous shit. It's so wild because what what you guys did was so crazy. And these guys have these elaborate schemes that they're like, there's an LLC in Wyoming and blah, blah, blah. Like, all of this shit, like it's all planned out, and Crazy. Harbaugh's behind all of it. Yeah, yeah, Crazy. boom. Like, you you guys are gonna have your own fucking Netflix documentary yeah. one day too, and just just how the NCAA fucked over people and oh, shit yeah, like that. Yeah, Fuck yeah, those yeah. guys, Four. though, man. They had y'all before the ink was yeah. dry. Then yeah. you got this shit. This yeah, is, it's fucking yeah. so. I can't wild. wait. So, so, I'm, I'm gonna talk that shit too. So. You <laughs> should talk that <laughs> shit, boo. Wait, so Treyway, so making this whole point, what's your thoughts on the game? Yeah, it's. I said I think he at some point all of this is gonna catch up to Michigan. Like, dude, you can't. You can only fuck strippers and drive Ferraris for so long. It's going to catch up to you. It's going to catch up to you at some point. <laughs> and I, think it's, it's facts. I think Penn State's going to win this facts. weekend. I think Michigan's got all – dude, because it's like every other day, some crazy part of this whole scandal comes out. True. Like something comes out that it's like just that in and yeah. of itself would be like – NCAA violation, just, but like but, tie it all together, but guys. Like let's you know let's just give it to him. maybe Jim Harwell was just in his office watching SpongeBob <laughs> the entire time. He didn't know. He, he orchestrated all of this. Still I, I believe so. I, he's the one pulling the strings for sure. Hey, yeah. uh, you probably shouldn't use that clip of me on social media. Just say, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that one. 
It's true. Okay, wait, don't, I don't approve that clip. Yeah, right. Just leave it in the episode. Yeah. Uh, all right, so what's the score for the game, then, our game, against Michigan State? What are we doing? Um, Who's player of the game, and uh, what's the score, boom? I'm saying uh, Travion has another big game, over 150. I can see our guys being out of the game, fourth quarter. Ryan Day being nice, or he could be sick with it and just keep him in the game and run it up like 72 to 6 because they can't score. They just get two field goals <laughs> off a bad play, like a pick by McCord, or you know what I'm saying? Some. I'm, yep. I'm just playing this in my yeah, head. Yeah, right I like now. it. Sorry. I like it. Um, but uh, overall, I think uh, I say like uh, 48 to 6. Yeah, I'm going 52 10. I think uh, I think Trayvon goes over two hundred, and I think he puts a puts a statement game on on his name on like at home at night. I think and people and has like one that breaks for like seventy, like a couple like big plays. Yeah, yeah. Because it you Beanie all the big backs that had multiple games Reese back in the day is watching like there's these games that are just like they it's, solidify. It's, 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 but it's always around this time of the year. Yeah, agreed. When it's getting cold, yeah. motherfuckers really don't they they really don't want to tackle you. They don't want to get hit by boom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, and what he has to do is he set the tone early in the game. That safety going to come downhill. You lower that shoulder pad and put him on his ass yeah. one time. Man, his boy is going to be looking like, man, it's going to be a long day. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we trying need. to hit, bro. And then we get the O-line, get, get them going. That's going to get them going too, though. Yeah, for sure. When you see your back, l- lay going somebody like out. That. Yeah. I yeah, agree. So. Cool. Uh, I think this game, obviously, uniform bets, like I – like I mentioned about, did it's going to be sixty-two zero. I'm I'm expecting the defense get a nice shutout, uh, and I think there will be a defensive touchdown in this game as well. You gonna bet that? I probably will. Yes. Yeah. And I want, and I really hope as a linebacker, it's going to be Eichenberg. He's due for another one. I like that. He's due for pick six. I like that, Trayvon. Yeah, I think the uniform bet is a lock. Uh, I got Ohio State fifty-four zero. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of. You say fifty-two ten? Yeah. I'm going fifty-two ten. The more I think about it, fifty-two ten sounds right. Yeah, before I said it, I was going to say 49 to 3, and Boom said 48 to 3. So we'll stay with that. Uh, but I think that the player of the game is going to be Marv because last week he had two touchdowns, but he only had like, what, 25 yards? He's like less than 100 yards away for 1, 1,000 yeah. on the yeah. year. So I think he's going to go for like 150 and two touchdowns again. I'd also like to see Kate Silver. It, it, I'm assuming he's going to play this week. I'd like to see him get another touchdown. Yeah, he's a really intricate part. Dude, that, he's yeah, he, he's, he's, a, he's a huge asset. Although G Scott did a good good job last yeah. week, but yeah. mm-hmm, I just, sure. he had Kate, a bad Kate, drop. Kate Stover's got yeah. the ACDC he's a beast. tough to him, so for got sure. To have him out on the field. Didn't he say he wanted to get paid in tractors? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's good. <laughs> just football guy. <laughs> this would be pretty amazing. Uh, anything else? You got boom? Um, nothing. Go Bucks. Um, let's go ten and zero. Um, move forward and um, just keep this keep this train rolling, man. We just try and roll I want to shout out all you guys. I think that was really good talk radio. Like, I think that I think the discussion about because you look, we're talking about Rutgers, we're talking about Michigan State, and always like kind of bashing Common Court. But I just think the interaction today was really good. It was good. It was good talk. So, all right, this is the Boomcast. This is Daniel Boom, Boom! Heron. We are the Boom Squad, and we are out. <laughs>